What's up guys, Rob the Awesome here, and today we're going to be looking at a futuristic weapon that doesn't leave much to the imagination, functioning pretty poorly compared to the rest of the arsenal, the Righteous Bison. It's understandable to see why this weapon doesn't get used often, it's weak in damage, and doesn't fit the overall soldier meta playstyles. Even so, there has to be some sort of use for this left behind laser gun, and we're going to go out and find it. But the question still remains, how do we make use of such a terrible secondary weapon? With chokeholds, quick setups, and unlimited refills, you'll soon be enlightened by what the future has has to offer. Let's go. In order to get the most out of this weapon and truly value its gameplay mechanics, we need to dive right into this weapon's stats and point out what each one is specifically used for. To start, the Righteous Bison does not require ammo, having an unlimited supply of lasers at your disposal. The ray gun only holds up to four lasers to fire before needing to reload, ultimately reducing the clip size by 33%. The laser projectile penetrates enemy targets, reducing between 11 to 24 damage per tick while the laser is facing their hitbox. In other words, one projectile can do more than a single strike, multiplying the damage if the projectile follows enemies continuously. As as an added bonus, the projectile cannot be reflected via air blast, which is minor, but a nice touch against aggressive pyros. Lastly, the only downside for having these abilities is that you only deal 20% of your total damage to buildings, dealing a mere 4 damage per shot against sentries, dispensers, and teleporters. Now that we've looked into the stats, let's focus on how to effectively use this weapon in combat. Bow down before the almighty Righteous Bison Master Race, for they will rise up once again to vanquish all the non-believers. Except. Not really. This weapon has a buttload of hidden downsides like a slow, easily dodgeable laser beam with very obscure hitboxes and insanely bad damage. Finding a use for something so impractical has never been so out of reach, but sure enough, there is something you can do to make this weapon worthwhile. All you need to do is open up your inventory, go to your crafting section, turn it into scrap metal, and voila! You made yourself some nice profit. <laughs> Jokes aside, there is a way to make the bison usable, and it's most useful for quick getaways and spamming choke points. Believe it or not, the bison is the only soldier secondary that fires projectiles. Everything else is either hit scan or utility item to aid you in battle. But what's so special about it being a projectile based weapon? It's great for area denial and guaranteeing your escape routes. Hit scans are instantaneous forms of damage that doesn't scare off opponents from following you if they aren't close enough to get hit by major damage. But by spamming the projectiles from the righteous bison, you create a psychological and physical advancement that scares your opponents right off your trail. Not to mention that the damage can multiply based on how your opponent follows the laser, so if they decide to move forward or back away from you, they'll really be feeling the pain coming off from your futuristic ray gun. It all seems very situational, am I right? If you want to just get away from the enemy, all you would need to do is get better at rocket jumping or get better at maintaining your rockets. But with extra projectiles at hand, you can have a sort of mini rocket launcher to spam at your disposal without any of the risks. And the best part is that you will never run out of ammo, and it reloads fairly quickly too. You'll always have some sort of projectile in your arsenal to spam behind you and secure your escape route. The future is looking brighter with these reverted changes to our beloved weapon. All hail the Righteous Bison, even if it isn't that great compared to the rest of the soldier's secondary weapons. Talk about desperately trying to find a use for one of the most useless weapons in the game. Area denial and guaranteeing your escape routes? Seriously? But think about it, isn't it more fun to find use in weapons than to plainly say they're bad and move on? The soldier clearly doesn't have another projectile based secondary. The Bison is unique in its own way and we should celebrate its unique aspect in this game. Game. It may not be the best weapon in the game, nor is it really useful for that matter, but having a blast with every weapon and finding obscure uses makes the game that much more fun to play. I mean, have you been looking at the gameplay in the background? If someone like me can make use of it, I'm sure you guys can too. When you try out a weapon you barely use, you find new ways to enjoy your favorite game, so what are you waiting for? Moral of the video is this, go outside of your comfort zone and experience something new. Whether it be a new class, a new weapon, even a new game mode, you might be surprised to see just how much variety this game game has to offer. The meta is nice, but sometimes you need to do something different in order for the game to not be stale. The Righteous Bison may not be as mighty as it used to be back in the day, but the Righteous Bison Master Race lives on in our hearts, and that's all that truly matters. Thank you guys so much for watching, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like these types of videos, leave a like and subscribe. Maybe even tell me what weapon I should review for next time. Every sub counts and makes a huge impact on the channel. Also, if we manage to get 50,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a super duper unusual giveaway. So, if you got the message, write in all caps Righteous Bison Master Race to let me know. Remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and to have an awesome day. I'm Rob the Awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I will run away from a brawl. I'm awesome. There's no voicemail, nobody call. I'm awesome. I can't afford to buy eight balls, and I talk to myself on my Facebook wall. You know my pants.